Okay, this is unboxing of a APM 100 degree 20 millimeter eyepiece. Let's open and see. Okay, now I have opened it. Oh, what's that? Mm. Oh, what is that? Oh, a little Haribo. They put something there for me. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Very nice gesture. Okay, but what is important is the eyepiece. I'm going to remove it. Mm. That is the eyepiece. Oh, let me see. Now can I remove the plastic bag? Let me just bring it out of the box. Mm -hmm. I'll put away the box, there is nothing else in it. So what we have here is a APM ocular, which means eyepiece HDC XWA, extreme wide angle. 20 millimeter, 100 degree, two, eye, two inches. So that's the moment of the truth. Uh, I have to open it by hand. Okay, the lead is open. Oh, a cleaning cloth. Uh, this is the oh, piece. Let me extract it. I received one which looked refurbished or used. And I sent it back and they hopefully have sent me a new one because I paid for a new one. It was not advertised as refurbished. So let's see what is this one. Okay, that other one had... Uh, I may just add that one at the end of this video. But look, this is new. You can see. I'm going to open the end cap also. Yes. This is new, clean. I can see that. Okay, interesting. Beautiful eyepiece, and I'm going to test it now with a... This is a brilliant uh, eyepiece, look at it. The sheer size of it, and also the weight is not as heavy as the Ethers. And uh, also not as heavy as the Myriad, the Skywatcher Myriad. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, this is a very impressive eyepiece, quite chunky, not heavy, around 400 grams. Not as heavy as the Teleview Ethos and uh, or Skywatcher uh, Myriad, which have a 21 millimeter one. Quite suited for using with any telescope and I'm looking forward to use it beautiful Okay, I have placed now the eyepiece in the telescope and I'm going to show you how it looks, the view through this 20 millimeter, 100 degree eyepiece. You see the wide angle.
This is the Sky Watcher EDAT, and I'm using the uh, Panaview 38mm 70 degrees eyepiece. And uh, I can say that around the 90% uh, to the edge of the field, uh, a little bit astigmatism creeps into the image. And this is a very good eyepiece, I'm telling you. This is one of my best eyepieces. Uh, the only one who can beat this, or even equal it, not beat it, even beat, is a Max Vision 40 millimeter, 68 degrees. Now, but this HMC, uh, sorry, AMP HDC 100 degrees, 20 millimeter eyepiece. First, no astigmatism, right to the edge. The field of view is a slightly similar, is similar or slightly smaller than this. This is 70 degrees, 38 millimeter, which is really low power, and this is 20 millimeter, so completely different. Uh, but although it, it is 20 millimeter, the field of view of 100 degrees is almost equal to the field of view of this 38 millimeter, 70 degrees. So. But the image sharpness in this one is really, really good, really controlled everything. And I'm impressed. Well, what is the difference? First, it is easier to use because it has a tapered conical uh, eyesight uh, eye cup. This one is really wide. Of course, I enjoy that. This one is tapered, so it's a big difference. Second is that when you look into it, it's, it's like a window to a space. It's no eyepiece there. You don't see the eyepiece. It's a window to the space when you position your eye correctly. And that gives you a spacewalk experience, especially I've noticed in the 13 millimeter of this. I have several occasions this happened to me. It gets really, you are in the middle of this space, even doesn't exist, the middle window doesn't exist. You are in this space. Can be ex a bit scary or a lot of scary when you see the right target with several relatively uh, bright stars in the field of view. You feel that those nucleosynthesis cores in the middle of this space, which we call the stars, are actually in front of you. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's a scary experience. But we have seen that. And this one gives you such experience also. Um, another thing, uh, comparison between the Panaview 38mm and the uh, APM 20mm, 100 degrees, that with this one, you look at the whatever the star is there, you see the star as it is in front of you, you don't need to do anything, just in front of you. With this one, you can roll your eye to the corner, this corner, see more. Roll your eye to this corner, see more. It's like you are in the middle of the space, looking at a big, big scene, but just turning your eye around, and you see more every time you do this. Or a space window, something like that, that you see more by looking around. This is different. This is an experience you never see with uh, anything like that. With this one, you're looking through a hole, that's it. This and this eyepiece, interestingly, are parafocal. You don't need to change the focus when you switch from Panaview to the APM. There is no need to switch the to change the focus. The, the fall in focus exactly when you just switch the eyepiece. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the 27, 28 and 30 uh, low minor uh, stars. It's a beautiful asterism in the shape of a roughly, I can say, 
shape of a square, but one corner instead of one star has two stars, bread stars. Beautiful, beautiful, very visible, very easy to see. And not far from the Orso Major. And that's nice. Uh, beautiful asterism. Yeah, funny enough, these two are not far focal. This is 30 millimeter APM and this is 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter is parafocal with the point of view. Uh, <laughs> 38 millimeter one. And but not parafocal with its own class 30 millimeter. And yeah, which one I like more? This has a wider angle view. This is a little bit lower angle view. Uh, I mean, the size of the field of view you can see. They're different. Which one I will use more? Probably I will use this more. But that is nice for, you know, clear view of, of everything. Can use it as a finder also. I may go for a lower uh, focal length one of, of one of these. And that will be nice for planetary view takes a longer time to, you know, drift in the image when you have them. When you're using Dobsonia or something like this, which is not tracked.